What's up guys, it's your friendly neighborhood at here and welcome to another commentary. This one on Operation Metro on the new OctoClan server. Yes, that's right. The OctoClan has officially purchased a server for Battlefield 3. And it is amazing guys. If you if you play this game, no, please, many, please check out the server. It is I think the map selection is pretty good and if you hate the USS as much as I do, you're going to love it because we always have some sort of admin on who bans the USAS users. It says so in the description, so if they use the USAS, they are in violation of the rules that we have agreed on. But anyway, I just wanted to show this beginning part right there, that little, to show off uh, that in fact is the Octoplan server. This is my first game using the Sega shotgun, or as I like to call it, the Sega shotgun and uh, yeah I do pretty well with it this is actually my best battlefield gameplay I have ever had I have previously in battlefield not really been so great I've been like kind of mediocre at best I I, I do very well in the in the points department but never really been too great in the in the, uh, the kills department or kind of being like the team slayer but uh, right now I've been kind of forcing myself to run slayer because like run be a slayer because if you look at my um my uh, class I am the support and the support class is just not really bent on points all that much it's more of assist class and uh, giving ammo to people but what else are you gonna do in that time you're gonna kill people which is basically what an FPS is all about so here's my shotgun I love it this gun is probably my uh, second most used gun and I've only had it for a couple of days now yeah but it, it's great it, it really is first off I'd actually like to apologize uh, on behalf of the fact that I have not posted as much as I probably should on the channel recently I've been very very busy I really do apologize it I really want to post as much as I can but when you have school that takes up about 95% of your time over the week and then weekends where you also want to kind of relax a little bit instead of make videos because videos while I love doing it it is a lot stressful it's very very stressful just exporting things and doing the commentary over it and it does take a lot more time than a lot of people realize I didn't realize when I first started making these videos that it would take so long to do the commentaries over them I mean this is a nine minute long gameplay and I, I cut so much out of it. It took me about like uh, half an hour uh, just to edit down the gameplay into a bit where people can mildly uh, enjoy and not have to worry about giving up a half an hour of their day to watch. Cause, and God knows I can't do a commentary for a half an hour. But anyway, uh, I, I will get back into a very, very good uh, posting, uh, I guess, posting habit uh, when it becomes summertime. Right now it is early April. And some people might think, yeah, it's a little early to think about summer, but I'm not in my school. In my school, I get out of, I get out in very early June, so only two months away. And once we are done with finals, but basically the last two weeks is nothing. There's no, there's not even any homework. They can't add anything to the grade. So you can expect videos from me in late May, and I will be posting very consistently. We've got a couple of things in the works. Me, Charlie, Night5923, and Tenet Zero, maybe even Jesse Cola might join us, who knows, uh, are planning on doing a Minecraft, uh, I guess you can call them like uh, custom maps, like adventure maps, uh, let's play on the server that we have for that. That should be interesting. I'm, I, I've never done them, so I'm probably going to suck at it, but uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing that. So whenever, some people will like the Minecraft that I used to post on the channel. I'll, our server kind of went downhill as there was a griefing problem and then no one really wanted to get on it. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back on Minecraft, getting some more Minecraft up on the channel. Tenet told me he's been uh, he's, he's got some more episodes lined up for his Skyrim Let's Play, so if you're looking forward to that, that's something that will be, will be arriving sometimes. It will actually be arriving a lot quicker than anything else that we're working on. But uh... The main project that we're working on is something for connection interruption, and, so I'm, and I'm not going to talk too much about it right now. But rest assured, it will be epic when it comes out. We, me, Tannen are working. Me and Tannen are working together on a video, and this I fail. I don't even get a single guy, but I get a triple suppression right there. But uh, yeah, so 
I'm looking for uh, look forward to that, guys. It is going to be epic. If our idea can come even slightly as what we've expected to, uh, what we've wanted to be, we have a really good plan set out, and if our editing skills are even remotely of that nature, we probably can do it. It's just going to be a lot of fiddling through the episodes. That's your hint. So, anyway, there's uh, some pretty big news that got released by Machinima about, I'm not sure, maybe a week ago from today or something like that. But Hutch, uh, Hutchinson, John Hutchinson, whatever you want to call him, has left Machinima, uh, has left Respawn, and he's gone on to pursue other parts of his life. Well, uh, I actually... When I first heard this, I thought it was a joke. I, I can't believe the fact that he has the best job and the, one of the best jobs in the world. He gets to go to all these amazing events, and he gives it up. He, I remember watching videos of him complaining about how much he, didn't, he hated working at the Olive Garden that he used to work at. But, I don't know. I, I guess people change, and I, I, I really... I, I hope that there's some actual reasoning behind why he left. I, they didn't release any reasoning behind why he left. They just said he was leaving. But as an inspiration to me, I remember watching Hutch two, three years ago. I remember when he only had like 10,000 subscribers. I was just subscribed to him at that point. It's just... I, I, it's, it's really... It's an it's a, uh, unreal... Like a... Uh, uh, moment that brings you back into the fact that these YouTubers that we know and love today will not be around forever. That that is just a, kind of a fact that just like wakes me up, kind of like a bucket of water. The fact that he's leaving, because when we think of YouTube, we always think of like Hutch, we think of C Nanners, we think of Mr. Sark on occasion. Only use me, Blade. When's the next one of those guys who's going to resign? Like, when is c Nanners going to say, okay, I'm done making YouTube videos? When is, uh, it's, just, it's, it's a unreal moment, in my opinion. But, uh, God, the fact that he's leaving is just, he, he was an inspiration for me. And the fact is, even though I, uh, I, I'm curious to why he's leaving, I support him. Because even though, even though I haven't always been too on board with what he's done, like, uh, for instance, abandoning his own channel and for Respawn. I think he should have posted a little bit more there. But he is an inspiration and deserves respect. And I, after being, after following him for four, two years, two years on Twitter, on YouTube, and all that stuff, I can guess, I can honestly say that I will miss Hutch on YouTube. I will miss the Hutch videos. I will miss seeing him on Respawn. It's it just, it's, it's a sad time. It's a sad time on the YouTube on the YouTubes. Other than that, uh, I've given my two cents about Hutch, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is probably, I really think it's my best Battlefield gameplay. You guys are the judge of that. I I think it's the most entertaining one, especially because I'm using a shotgun. And Yes, the shotguns are really good in this game, but they're still not amazing. They they are not amazing, unless you're using the USS. The USS is just... Grenade, shotguns should not shoot grenades, but that's besides the point. Other than that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, please tell me, please, please tell me if you enjoy the Battlefield stuff. Because if no one wants to watch it, I don't know why I should post. I want, I want to post to what you guys really want to watch. Uh, but, yep. Bright light, bright light. Victory screen, epicness. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. 40 and 7, best game I've ever had. Thank you guys for watching. Peace soup. It's underneath best vehicle.